your parents would tell you, do this, be this way, change right away, do this thing. The, the idea is you want to kind of, a lot of people assimilate that into their beings and they treat themselves the way that their parents treated them. So they're always shaking their finger at their, themselves like, oh, you shouldn't do this or, oh, you're an idiot. So the idea is to give that up and to start loving yourself exactly as you are right now. Yeah. So that's the big revolutionary move is to like, instead of like always constantly being on the per, the move to like make yourself whatever it is, thinner, fatter, more muscular, more disciplined, learn a language, learn to play piano, whatever the thing it is, the, instead of setting up this situation where once you've achieved a six pack, <laughs> once you've gotten married, once you've had kids, once you have this much money in the bank, once you've done this It'll amount of success. service work, that's when you're going to start loving yourself. When you're like this. So if you're doing that to yourself, then you're definitely doing it to everybody else. Instead of accepting people for what they are right now. Yeah. Just look, I like this part about you, the other part, whatever. So if you thing. can start loving yourself as you are right now, you're probably going to be able to start at least slightly loving the people around you more than you currently do. How can you love yourself? And include, how can you that include your faults? Well, because you have to have compassion on yourself. So, like, I still love you. I wish you would be better in school. Like, if no, you're, if you're no, a father, you're like, I, I wish, love my not, son no matter what. But not, let's try to make you do better. Not I wish you would be better. It's like when, when, when a baby starts crying, you don't think, like, God, I wish you would just fucking shape up. You, oh, you that's how I feel you, when I see a baby crying. You love the baby. You hold the baby. You, you cradle the baby. You would be one of the people who shakes babies. You don't do that. You love the baby. So, in the same way, it's like, look at you. Ari Shafir, yeah. you got launched into a fucking dimension where you're going to die. Yes. Everything you know, everyone you know, everything that you own, everything you've thought, every connection you've ever had will completely evaporate into nothingness. Yeah. So that's already a traumatic experience if you know that's the case. Like, you, There's no way you can just easily accept that fact. Right. It's like your mom's going to turn into either fucking ashes or worm food. Right. Your mom's going to merge with a coffin eventually. Yeah. You're going to lose it. So this is a very traumatic, it's just that. Just that right. realization, yeah. Right, so, but, but that's not just that because the family that you were born into had problems. Everyone's did. Maybe your mom didn't love you enough. Maybe your mom loved you too much. Maybe your dad was like distant or maybe your dad was like gone or maybe, you know, who knows? Yeah. So there's all these traumas that happen to people and it's fucking brutal, man. So I, what? So what? what so, so the, so the point is like, you're how the fuck do you expect yourself to be some kind of perfect, cool, cool cucumber when you got shot into a dimension where you're going to die more than likely into a family of fucking people yeah. who also were terrified of dying and had but then how do you change anything if you if you just accept everything for well like, i love you for i love myself for who i am but, I'm like, but i would like where, to learn spanish that's where the real change happens man that's where the real change can happen instead of pseudo change instead of temporary change we're talking about a real change here's the, the idea how, why here's the idea if being an asshole to other people yeah made people better. Yeah. If being, if wishing people were different, if being down on other people made people better, we would live on a planet populated with the coolest people that ever existed. Everybody would be better. Everybody would be getting better because everybody's a shithead to everybody else. Yeah. Right? So in that same way, that means that being a shithead to yourself, judging yourself, being cruel to yourself, harsh to yourself, hard on yourself... To think that that's going to change you somehow into something better is insanity. It doesn't work. It doesn't fucking work. If it so what does change you? To if it better? worked, then we everyone would be awesome too because everyone's so hard on themselves. Yeah. So that means you have to try something different. And the different thing to try for once is instead of looking at yourself, and you can't pull it off completely. You're always going to have parts right, of yourself. Just, try to get like, there. Okay. just make the vague attempt at recognizing. That if you're whatever age you are, you've been through some serious fucking shit and you've ha it hasn't been easy for you. It hasn't been easy. So give yourself a fucking break, you know? Yeah, but you, don't you still want to then better yourself? The first step in the direction of bettering yourself is to stop being a cocksucker to yourself. Right. Stop being mean to yourself. If you want to better yourself, stop being an abusive parent to yourself. Yeah. But can't, so you can't, but then how do you wish, like, oh, I wish I was better at this. Well, it's the same yourself. thing that I was telling you, man. When you look at somebody with love, look at how, how they'll change, right? They'll change right oh, yeah. in front of you. 
So if you look at yourself with love, just be there in the moment with yourself and try to embrace yourself and see what happens. The biggest love I can see is a, a, a parent child seems the most, um, um, what's the word? I love you no matter what. What's that word? Unconditional. Uncon- love. It's been most unconditional. But even then, it's still like my son's great. Let's say your son's 20. Like he's great. I wish he'd find a girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Or I wish he'd, you know, it's not that you don't love yeah, him. I don't know that using parental love is the fucking watermark for what unconditional love looks like is a great move. Because a lot of parents, they, they are the opposite of loving unconditionally. They so desperately want you to be something else that so, they... So. they yeah. You're existing in this terrible family where where ev- that your instincts are drawing you in the direction of who knows what, man. But your parents are trying to push you in some other direction. Okay, well, uh, another kind of love then. Friendship or, or boy-girl or whatever, you know, attracted people to each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the idea. Find some... some but can't find- you still wish they would change in certain ways? Oh, Jesus, this is scary. Can't you still wish they would change in certain ways? Or not wish they would change, but just like... You can't stop. You, you, you're not going to be able to stop anything that your mind does your mind's gonna wish this or wish that no matter what you can guide it you can try to guide it but the the trick is to like first is to to develop this state called mindfulness where you're watching the way that your your thought patterns emerge and the way that they dissipate and then somewhere in the process of that you can begin to develop compassion for yourself and 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 in the process of developing compassion for yourself, you'll find yourself developing compassion for the people around you. That's the process. Loving yourself, and that helps you love other people to a higher degree. It's very, I can't imagine. And so, so the compassion would be, let's just say, you would do something damaging yourself, and I loved you. Let's just say it was that. I was your boyfriend, and I loved you. And then I would say, well, I know he doesn't like, as someone I love, he doesn't like when he lets six days go by, and all he's done is play World of Warcraft. Yeah. I know he doesn't like that. So I would love you and I feel bad, but I wouldn't try to change you in any way. I would just be like, I hope you figure that out. The idea is you work on yourself. Yeah. The, the, so, and so like the mind's going to try to plan out like what's going to happen if I start really loving myself or working on myself. But it's like, forget about what's, yeah, what's going to happen. Just know. Just start this like crazy process of like of, of just playing around with the idea of for once not being so fucking hard on yourself. And then also look at how even the concept of not being hard on yourself seems absurd. Like even letting go of that for some people is like, what are you fucking talking about? I can never love myself. It's like you it, see a tell talking about his jokes. He's like, I, no, that was nothing I do now is good. Yeah. He's like, I'm, I mean, I used I was good once, but it's and I think it's best better than he's ever been. Well, but like he's just constantly like, oh, that was stupid. No, was I don't know joke. if like loving yourself means being deluded, delusional or, or like saying something's good when something's not good. Yeah. I think it means being able to acknowledge your failures without thinking that you're a failure. Oh, right. Just be like, my fail. Okay. How do I do that better next time? But yeah. not feel like, oh it's no. Fine. Let's do this again. Let's try it out again. Let's keep working on this, man. Well, we might, we will. How does it help you find love with another person? Well, because, my God, if you can't really love yourself, how can you expect somebody else to love you? No, no, but okay, but then you do love yourself. Then how does that help you love another person? Well, I think because I think that once you really start, like, getting to that place where you're, like, a, a really purely yourself, I think loving yourself is really the same way of saying finding yourself. Yeah. And once you, once you like, have, have like, really actualized yourself in that way, I think all human relationships are going to uh, improve no matter what. I, I don't know, Ari, because I haven't like fully like reached that state. But I do know that, um, that I have found more harmony in my life than I ever have experienced uh, on and off, certainly followed by periods of chaos and turbulence it's just all part of it man this is like ramdas describes it as like uh floating in the ocean like sometimes you're on a a wave that goes up and you can see the land and sometimes it sinks down and you just feel like you're in the middle of like a great confusing ocean it's a waveform and when you're at the bottom of the waveform the idea is instead of like being like what's wrong with me how fucking am i i'm here again i'm always here again instead of being like that just being like oh look at this here we are all right, let's look at the way I feel right now. Oh, I feel lonely. Oh, I feel scared. Oh, I'm shut down. Wow, I'm being a real dick right now. And then when you're at the top of the waveform, you're like, oh, okay, look, things are going great for us. How are we now? 
oh, I'm trying to control this. Oh, I don't want it to go away. I hope I don't fuck up. Yeah. So you just start, you just learn that. That's all. Just learn that. Don't try to change it. Just learn. Like this is happening. Here's the pattern. And then somehow just the very observation of the pattern itself. Yeah, I do that when I get mad at someone for not picking me up at the airport. I'm like, I've been late for picking people up at the airport. Yeah. Yeah. And when you get mad at somebody who's late, instead of like, just look at the way you get mad. Just watch the way it happens. And if you can't control the anger and you yell at them, watch it. Look at the way you yell. So much of what people do is exactly like their heartbeat. You're not aware of your heartbeat. It just beats down there. You don't do anything yeah. about it. It's just fucking down there. It's doing its own thing. In the same way, so many people are in this seizure of habit. They're not watching themselves. They're just fully engaged in the thing, like a dog barking at anything that goes by. So the idea is like, just first, just begin to watch the seizure. Look at the sleepwalk. Look at the way you're sleepwalking through life. Just watch it. And just that alone begins to you know, wake you up just a little bit and waking up a little bit when you've been sleepwalking your whole fucking life is psychedelic and awesome and really fun.